In this morning's Eye on Money, how low mortgage rates could help homeowners cut their costs. The average 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 3.65%. That's down almost a full percentage point from the same time a year ago. Almost 63% of mortgage applicants are homeowners looking to refinance. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here with some advice if you are thinking about refinancing. Jill, good morning. Good morning. So if you are thinking about refinancing, what do you need to know here? Well, obviously rates are lower. And so if you've got a higher rate than that 3.65%, that might sort of pique your interest. But... As you know, every single deal when it comes to a mortgage involves costs. And closing costs on a refi can be 2 to 5% of the loan amount. I should also note that when we talk about these great rates, 3.65%, it's great if you've got great credit. Yes. And usually that means in the mid-700s or so. So what you want to do is run the numbers, see how long it will take you to break even. So if your payment goes down, how many months do you have to be in that house? Because if you're going to move in a couple of years, it may not make sense to refinance. A lot of people are doing kind of debt triage. They've got the mortgage debt. They've got the credit card debt. They've got the student loan debt. Can you refinance the mortgage to pay off other stuff? You can. And, of course, that's really intriguing because if I have a 22% outstanding credit card balance or even a student loan at 6 or 7%, and I can get a three and three quarter percent mortgage sounds great. I should note when the new tax law went into effect, there was a real big change. And that is that you can no longer deduct interest that is used to pay off other debt. So if $200,000 of your mortgage is your primary residence, but if another 30,000 is credit card and student loans, that 30,000, you're not supposed to deduct the mortgage interest. So we gotta be clear about that still, it's a lot cheaper, and it may be a better deal for you to use your mortgage, your home equity, to do that. So should you think about refinancing if you have one of those adjustable mortgage rates? I think this is a great time. Now, you do? You, yeah, and, I, and here's why. Last year when rates were higher, I got a lot of people who called my radio show and podcast, and they were freaking out because their adjustable rate mortgages ticked up. Yeah. And all of a sudden they I'm said, really oh. I'm scared of those adjustable rates. Yeah, yes. me oh, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's they good. look great when rates are going down. Yeah. When they start yes. going up, they yeah. get So all spooky. those same yeah. people who've had that feeling last year now could be a chance for you to fix that loan for the next 30 years yep. and I think that's important also same thing if someone has a balloon payment where you pay yes. a fixed rate for 10 years but then 10 years from now you're gonna have to pay a big amount well maybe your situation has changed maybe you're not gonna move maybe you're not gonna have that influx of money I think fixed rates are the way to go. And by the way, I always err on the 30-year, not the 15-year. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, wait, you want to pay it off sooner. But 30-year loan means you've got more flexibility during the life of the loan. So if you've got young kids and you want to start putting money away for college, you might say, I want a lower mortgage payment today. I can always pay it off faster if I had to. Right. It, it, what if? How long typically does a refi take, Jill? And, and what documents do you need? Oh, gosh. Yeah. 45 days, probably. It's still a pain in the neck. Paychecks, W-2s, uh, asset statements, loan statements, your whole life, your blood, yeah. whatever they oh, want. Like you yeah. said, firstborn yeah. child, you need my firstborn child, too. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Perseverance. Yeah. It hasn't gotten easier. But, Jill, thank you very much. Appreciate it.